Hello guys, how are you doing? So, welcome back to my reactions and as you can see I'm going to watch episode 23 of A Certain Magical Index today. So in this last episode we got to learn a lot about Yoka and it seems that she is not a human, she was uh, apparently created by these uh, energy forces that uh, the espers emit or something and uh, it's like uh, uh, Komoi was explaining before that uh, there's all kinds of espers in this academy city and uh, they all emit uh, these uh, slight forces and uh, these forces are what makes a person so them overlapping is uh, what uh, enabled Yoka to be created and that is how she is here so it was uh, really crazy to to learn all of this and i had no idea that this was uh, even a thing but yeah it was definitely great to learn more about her and i really hope that uh, they find uh, a way to keep her here because uh, we know that toma is going to want to protect her as uh, uh, she is not uh, just there uh, like a ghost she is uh, actually growing some feelings and uh, acting like a a normal uh, human would so yeah it's really nice to see toma uh, like choosing this and uh, deciding uh, to to protect her and i really hope that um, uh, he manages to do it and that she sticks around with these guys in the future but yeah the, that's something to discover in these next episodes or so and right now we still have this fight against sherry and uh, she wants to uh, like uh, she she wants um, uh, uh, Yoka because she is the key to this uh, five element agency and she wants to start a war. So yeah, hopefully she gets stopped. And uh, I wonder uh, how exactly Tommy is going to do it. We know that he has this Imagine Breaker, and uh, that's really uh, useful in this situation. Uh, but yeah, I really can't wait to see how exactly he's going to do it. So with this, really hope you guys are ready, and let's start the episode. It is AIM diffusion fields. Yeah, just because she's not a human doesn't mean she should be discarded. I really hate this one. And I really like Yoka. Really hope that nothing bad happens to her. But yeah, this uh, episode was definitely really crazy. The previous one. And uh, again, it's really hard to remember all the different uh, words they they use, like all of these uh, the definitions, like the AIM diffusion fields. It really takes time to get used to to all of these names. But it's really interesting to see this happening. There's a lot of different mechanics in this world. And Tomoe was mentioning that Yoka was created because of these, uh, these forces overlapping. So if um, the forces needed uh, for a person to be created uh, like came together, they would create uh, this person. So I don't know if uh, Yoka is going to be the only case or if there's more like her because in the end... There might be some more cases of these forces overlapping and creating different people. But yeah, I'm not too sure about that, just um, wondering about it. If it happens, I will say it, so... That's everything but insignificant. Hmm. 
It's created another one. But as long as he touches them, he's able to destroy them, so... Oh... Is she going to run? That's really nice. I really like his attitude. Need to be careful though. I can destroy the golem like that, I guess. Hmm. Really? That's going to be the eyes? The AZ signal? Just really needs to be able to touch it. You can see here, her feelings. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking, he can't touch her. to be great. Damn. Just going to punch it. Oh, like that. If he touches her, he should stop this, right? Damn, just like that. And the magic should be cancelled, right? Really? Hmm...
Só que tido. Did she just escape or is she planning something? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that was the whole point. Oh, she was talking about index before. Um. Yeah, about that. This is the first episode, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> they even show it. She needs to be careful, though. Hmm. This time. <laughs> okay, then. He's confident. Yeah, they live together. <laughs> and there goes things. Oh, damn, she's going to be alone, though. She's going to find Sherry. Oh, is that her? Maybe that's actually going to be good for Index? Like Misaka is going to deal with Cherry? Hmm. Are they going to use the same route? That she used. Not for now. Yeah. Just to create a war. She just wants to to kill one of them. Doesn't matter who it is, as long as it starts a war. Yeah.
Yeah, that's what I was thinking. How can he go down without getting injured? Yeah, I hated this moment a lot. And she was like kicked. Not kicked, but... Just thrown around. Um He's not going to allow that. Not the monster. She needs to stop calling herself that. Yeah. Damn. This is really sad. He can't let this happen. Oh yeah, he can't touch her. That was... Close. Damn. Yeah, she's going to get injured, but she will regen. I really hope she doesn't sacrifice herself. To stop the other girl. Also becoming a bit afraid. Even if this whole situation gets sorted out and she survives. That thing about Toma. Not being able to touch her. With his right hand. That's scary. Hmm. Yeah. When they met. Was it was it because of the power of her dress or something? We know that index is special, so... Those details. <laughs> yep. Yeah, she can sink like this. Really hope that they protect her.
Thanks, it was interesting to see how she appeared in this world. Back to the waiting spot. <laughs> Oh, she's actually going to appear next to Index. With the golem. Damn. So that was just the golem walking or something before near me, Zaka. Oh, this mode. Here we go. Oh. She can control him now. Um, just like that. Oh, that's what she's doing. That's cool. Holy... That sounds painful. Yeah. Hmm. Sphinx, though. Oh, damn. He's out now. That's not good. Is Yoka going to show up or? Was Yoka the one it? They're not going to reveal it, right? Of course, why not? I have a feeling that's what happened, but I'm not entirely sure. We know that Yoka was coming and trying to save Index. So I'm assuming that she was able to arrive here in time and she was the one who got punched instead of Index. But yeah, it was really sad to see this situation with her and how she thinks of herself as a monster and... She's really kind, but she doesn't give she doesn't give herself uh, too much value. Like she just looks at herself like a monster, and she wants to use this power to to at least um, do something good and help uh, Index. But I hope that she doesn't um, get sacrificed because of this. Really hope that they they both survive. But I don't know. I don't know when Toma is going to be able to, to get there. We know that Misaka should be close. 
So she probably noticed the tremor that was going on below her. I actually had the idea that um, the golem was going to appear uh, in the in the location where uh, Misako was, but apparently not. That was just uh, maybe the the tremor of the the golem like walking and going through the the like that thing like uh, uh, underground. But yeah, it's um it's really crazy to think about this, and uh, it was really nice to to also get to learn more about uh, Yoka and uh, like how she was uh, before she went into this world. It was uh, still a bit confusing. I'm going to have to uh, rewatch that scene because she was talking about how she could uh, manipulate things and make uh, like like people change and all of that. And uh, we saw it happening a, a lot. Like she was manipulating everything. But that moment when she approached Index and she touched her, uh, she was uh, then able to uh, like literally come to, to this world, like physically. So I'm not too sure if that was uh, because of um, the dress that uh, Index uses, because I believe that it's special and this was mentioned early in this anime. But yeah, it's uh, like something that I like, I really hope that uh, Yoka uh, survives this. I'm not too sure if um, if Mizaka again is going to notice this and if she's going to uh, try and help, but that would be really great. And even like it, it's like I was saying before, even if this gets solved and that um, Yoka gets saved and that uh, she gets to uh, stay in this world, uh, I'm still afraid of this uh, situation with Toma with his Imagine Breaker because. He was saying that he can cancel any sort of magic and stuff, uh, like be it evil or good. So this means that if uh, it touches uh, Yoka with his right hand, uh, she's going to disappear. So this is something that really can't happen and we saw that it was really close to happening when she started running and uh, he was uh, about to, uh, to, to grab her, but he realized that uh, he couldn't do that uh, because it would be really bad for her. But uh, this is uh, kind of giving me the idea that, um, as I was saying, if she gets to survive, like, uh, I'm afraid that uh, Toma might uh, end up touching her uh, by mistake, uh, uh, like, at a, a later point, making her disappear. This is something that just uh, 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 crossed my mind at some point. I really hope that it doesn't happen. Uh, but yeah, it's something to think about right now. Just really hope that they... Uh, managed to stop this golem and uh, also uh, Sherry, of course, because in the end she doesn't really care about uh, who she kills. She just really wants to kill one of them in order for uh, a, a war to start. So that's uh, the the main objective that she has. But hopefully they uh, manage to stop this and uh, prevent uh, like any, any war from happening. Uh, but yeah, we'll see what happens in this last episode, hopefully something good. So with this, really hope you guys enjoyed my reaction to this one. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel. And you can also join my Discord and my Patreon if you want to get early access to my full reactions. So yeah, I'll see you all in the next one, so take care guys.